Good morning. The 8,353rd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda for this meeting is non-proliferation, non Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The agenda is adopted. I shall now make a statement in my capacity as representative of the United States. The question one should ask is why? Why, after voting for sanctions 11 different times, is Russia now backing away from them? We know the answer. It's because Russia has been cheating. And now they've been caught. Despite its repeated support for UN sanctions, Russia is actively working to undermine the enforcement of the Security Council sanctions on North Korea. Its violations are not one-offs. They are systematic. Russia has not simply looked the other way as its nationals and entities engage in activities explicitly prohibited by UN sanctions. Russia has engaged in a concerted campaign in the Security Council to cover up violations of sanctions, whether they're committed by Russia or citizens of other states. Not only that, when we pursued UN designation of the Patriot, we presented evidence of these violations to the 1718 Committee that tracks sanctions implementation. But Russia prevented the committee from declaring that North Korea exceeded its oil quota. Today, North Korea continues to illegally procure refined petroleum products with the help of Russia. The United States has evidence of consistent and wide-ranging Russian violations. Делегация США, намеренно обострившая вопрос о передаче в Совет среднесрочного доклада группы экспертов Северокорейского санкционного комитета, хочет использовать данную трибуну для навязывания международному сообществу своего видения ситуации. Сегодняшнее заседание как часто в последнее время бывает у наших американских коллег, превратил заседание по России, а не по КНДР. Русские, мол, пытаются оказать давление на группу экспертов. Хотели бы раз и навсегда положить конец этим инсинуациям. В реальности дело обстоит так, что работа группы, которая по независимым от нас причинам приобрела край, в то же время... Мы являемся сейчас свидетелями того, что переговоры между КНДР и США по меньшей мере испытывают определенные трудности. Переговорный процесс – это улица с двусторонним движением. Реальность дипломатии 21 века, да и любого века, в том, что нельзя договориться, не предлагая ничего взамен на свои требования. Members of the Security Council, there have been several positive developments related to the nuclear weapon and ballistic missile programs. In the meantime, there continue to be signs the DPRK is maintaining and developing its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. The International Atomic Energy Agency remains unable to access the DPRK and verify the correctness and completeness of the DPRK's declarations under its safeguards agreement. However, we're not invited to witness any of these activities. And I now give the floor to the representative of China. Thank <laughs> you. We have no further sp speakers. This meeting is adjourned.